In your business, you're going to see fluctuations in the number of sales you're achieving because of seasonality. You could see sales increase and decrease. Managing these trends can be quite difficult, but luckily Google Ads has the functionality to allow you to better manage these seasonal trends you're gonna see throughout your business year. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the Google Ads seasonality adjustments so you can make these adjustments in your business based on the seasonal trends that you see. And it's important to do this because if you don't use seasonality adjustments, and you know there are going to be seasonal changes, you're leaving your budget with Google to do what they want with and they don't care necessarily about the seasonal trends in your business because they don't know what they are. So stay tuned because this is gonna help a lot of people. So say you're going through a seasonal period where you're going to see an expected increase of sales. Let's keep it positive to start with. Say it's coming up to Black Friday and you know for sure there's going to be a massive spike in your industry in the number of people searching, the amount you could possibly spend and the amount of opportunity available for you to grow your business because of the amount of demand increasing in the market. That's an example of a positive seasonal trend where you're expecting to see more volume and you want Google to take advantage of that additional volume in that window. And conversely, in that period between Christmas and New Year, is you're going to expect a severe downturn in conversions because people just aren't shopping. They've bought everything they need, they're having Christmas, and they don't necessarily care about shopping that much in a lot of industries. So you could expect a downturn. In either case, positive or negative, seasonal adjustments allow you to tell Google what is coming and how long it's going to last for, and you can adjust your budget and your expected conversion rate based on the events that are coming. So using those two examples I gave, say it's coming up to Black Friday and you know that you're gonna get tons more search coming your way for your products and services, you could give Google a temporary increase in budget in a fixed window of time. So from Black Friday all the way through to Monday, for example, you could give Google an additional uplifted budget to use at its disposal to gain better momentum in the market. Or like that period between Christmas and New Year's, you could use the other functionality available within seasonal adjustments and you can actually tell Google you're expecting a lower conversion rate during a specific period. So you're basically telling Google, this is a period of time where we're expecting to do worse as a business. So please, be nice with our budget. And a word of warning, because if you don't use seasonal adjustments and you let Google manage your budget during these peaks and dips in your seasonality, what's going to happen is Google will still have a budget to spend. And if they're struggling to spend it, say for example, during a downturn, Google will just keep pushing your CPCs higher and higher until eventually they spend your budget. So you're gonna end up paying way more for your traffic than you should when there's basically nobody looking. And the second word of warning I wanna give is this, and that is, if you're thinking about changing your campaign budget during these periods to kind of increase or decrease based on seasonal trends, again, this does not make sense because the way Google looks at your campaign budget is over a rolling 30 day period. So if you're making these adjustments to your budget in an increase, in that one week you might have changed it for Black Friday, for example, you're gonna see your budget increase, but once you change it back and revert those changes, Google will st still see your budget over that 30 day period as increased. So it would definitely lead to overspend. So you have to be careful making budgetary adjustments to fulfill seasonal trends. So now you know what seasonality adjustments are within Google Ads, let me show you how to set this up. Okay, so here I am in Google Ads and what I'm going to do is go to tools and settings and then go to bid strategies. So when you're in bid strategies, if you go to this option for advanced controls, this will allow you to do your seasonality adjustments. So if you click on the blue plus button down here or this one here, either way, click plus and then you have your two adjustment types I mentioned where you can give a campaign a temporary budget or you can give a campaign an estimated temporary conversion rate change. So just to explain, a temporary budget is where you apply a set budget for a given period of time. So this could be, I wanna change my campaign budget to 800 pounds between a period of seven days, for example, in the future. You can do that and that can ensure Google has more budget at its disposal to meet the volume requirements. And then conversely, you have conversion rate as well. A conversion rate adjustment means you're telling Google what the expected change is to your conversion rate. Are you expecting an increase or a decrease based on the seasonality that's coming up in your business? So let's start off with the budget one as an, as an example. Of course, you have to name everything in Google Ads, so give it a name. I'm just gonna, gonna call it test. 
You can give an optional description to provide more information. If you're using these quite regularly, I would, I would say you should be using a description just so you can refer back to what it was. In this example, I'm going to leave it blank. Start time and end time are self-explanatory. When will you want this potential change to go in? What is the period of seasonality you're going to adjust for? So I'm going to make for this example, the adjustment to be the 1st of December all the way through until the, I don't know, the, let's just go with the 10th of December. So that's a 10 day adjustment period across midnight to midnight. So that's the full day and you can even do it hourly as well. So you can change the time of the day the adjustment should take place as well. For the purposes of this, I've left it as midnight to midnight to cover the full period of time. Next, you can choose your campaign type. So you can select your campaign, whether or not it's a campaign you want to apply it to or all the campaigns in your account. This is the page where you'd be able to select all of the campaigns or just the one of the campaigns. But in this particular example, there is only one campaign in the account. So we click that campaign. And then the budget adjustment is essentially what is the current daily budget? You can see it's set here. There's a hundred pounds daily budget. What is the new daily budget you want to have during that period between the 1st to the 10th of December? So when you make this change, you're changing the daily budget so Google is going to read from in that period between the 1st and the 10th of December. And obviously with this kind of bidding, you're trying to adjust for a potential change in activity. So say for example, this was a business in e-commerce and it's Black Friday and you wanna go crazy, you can double the budget to 200 pounds, for example, and that'll give you a lot more budget. So you can increase the budget to two, by 200 pounds, giving you a total budget of 300 pounds. So this is gonna add the budget to your account in an uplift to your existing daily budget. So once you're happy with the period of time, the adjustment you've made, you can hit save and that will basically save the adjustment. You get this kind of summary message, but I'm not going to click create adjustment for obvious reasons. Conversely, you can do this with conversion rate as well. Give it a name, give it an, a description as needed. Set your times. I'm gonna choose the first to the 10th again for this illustrative example. Next is a bit different here for conversion rate expectations because you can choose specific campaigns like I already showed you. You can choose campaign types. So if you only want to make this adjustment to conversion rate based on a particular campaign, whether it's Pmax or search, you can do that as well. And you can also do a, a device level adjustment as well. Are you expecting higher or lower conversion rates on a device? So you might be in a position where you're making crazy changes to your website or something like that, or to your offering that could affect a mobile more than a desktop, for example. This is the kind of way you'd, you'd make those adjustments and let Google know. And of course you can choose your increase or decrease. Say for example, we're going into the period between Christmas and New Year's. Google does say when you go through this period of reducing what the conversion rate should be, that smart bidding should be able to counteract it. Don't listen, honestly, because what Google will do is if you're in a quieter period, Google says, oh, smart bidding will compensate. It's fine, it will know that it's a quieter period. That never happens. Google will just still try and spend your budget. So if you're, if, if, if you're in a period where you're expecting less search, and less people looking, you can make these adjustments because if you leave it and have a high budget all the way through or a high conversion rate expected all the way through, Google will try and spend your budget. You will see really high CPCs and there's not a lot you can do about it. Google will never hold back. So let's say it's a decrease and we're expecting conversions to drop by about 20%. We can put that in. Google will give you this warning message because anytime you're doing a decrease that could potentially slow down their revenue. This is what you're going to expect. You're going to get challenged on every step of the way. So we'll go ahead and save this. You get the same warning message again, kind of say, here's a summary. But of course, because we're doing something that's decreasing, Google's going to give another warning message. And you can see here, it can adjust, it can affect how you um, are going to bid. And that's true because, of course, you're, you're adjusting down. So it will affect how bidding strategies will perform. You are making an adjustment to expect less conversions. And that's going to be the case that Google will see that and then adjust the bids based on that push, I suppose, from this system. So you can create your adjustment again. As I say, I'm not going to do that for obvious reasons, as this is just a demo. But that should cover exactly how you can do seasonality adjustments.